New Resident Evil 4 Remake Gameplay Video Released Players control Resident Evil 2 lead, U.S. Agent Leon S. Kennedy, on a mission to rescue Ashley Graham, daughter of the President of the United States, from a Spanish village dominated by Los Illuminados, a violent cult worshipping an ancient parasite, years after the events of his introduction. Other characters appearing in the remake involve the returning Ada Wong, Leon's operator Ingrid Hunnigan, as well as the civilian Luis Serra, and the antagonists Baitors Mendez and Ramon Salazar. Speaking of Ashley, Game Informer notes that her personality has been tweaked in the remake into someone that Capcom hopes will be a more believable character. Her character is a little more serious, in the remake, than the original, says director Yasuhiro Ampo. We put a lot of thought into how someone would realistically react when put in those situations. And in that context, we strengthened the reality of her interactions with Leon. That goes for the conversation she has with Leon as they travel. As mentioned before, Ashley will stick with Leon during gameplay, rather than being sent away to hide. As a character, we wanted to have her by your side so she left an impression, explains Ampo. And as a game, having her hide while you went and fought in the original, that was fun in some ways. But having a character like Ashley and then having her basically disappear for a while felt like a waste. We wanted to avoid that in the remake. The original Resident Evil 4 was released for the GameCube in 2005. Development reportedly began around 2018, led by the Studio M2. Capcom then brought the development in-house in early 2021, led by the Division 1 team, with many team members who worked on the 2019 remake of Resident Evil 2 returning for this game. Following its reveal on June 3, 2022, Capcom stated that the game is being developed by reimagining the storyline of the game while keeping the essence of its direction, modernizing the graphics and updating the controls to a modern standard. Hirabayashi claims the remake will have the same length as the original Resident Evil 4. Producer Yoshiaki Hirabayashi claimed he found the idea of remaking Resident Evil 4 challenging as a result of its large popularity. Kazunori Kadoi and Yasuhiro Ampo, who worked on Resident Evil 2 Remake, are acting as directors. Kadoi is supervising gameplay elements, most notably how to use Leon's knife and its endurance after encounters with the enemies. The set appeal is to give players various ways to complete Resident Evil 4. When it comes to quick time events, Capcom aims to reduce them as much as possible. In keeping with the original game, the briefcase was briefly touched to change weapons quickly. Unlike the original game, Leon can carry multiple knives in his inventory to compensate for their limited durability. The development team was split into three groups that worked in three areas of the game, the village, the castle, and the island. It was also revealed by the game director that the island won't be cut from the final version of the game. In keeping with the realism, the character's facial features were based on real persons. Leon's in-game facial features will have Edouard Bataluda's likeness. In regards to the game's narrative, the team aims to expand Ashley's characterization and relationship with Leon due to the former's fears. Luis is also meant to be elaborated more in death. Considering the game witty, the story is meant to be more horror-focused, something shown in its early demos. The characterization of Leon was affected to react more to the enemies to the point he would often insult them. The visuals were carefully developed to improve the idea of horror. The game was developed with the RE engine.